Here's our 1949 Oldsmobile Rocket 88 Fastback two-door body style with the original Rocket 88 303 V8 uh, overhead valve motor made famous in the first years of NASCAR and uh, general hot rod culture. The Rocket 88 is a, kind of a famous car for its time period. Um, this one is uh, basically been stored indoors and babied for the last 25 years. Here's a uh, motor sample. All right, here we have the 1949 Oldsmobile Rocket 88. And it's running right now. And key on. And there it is. 1949 Oldsmobile Rocket 88 starts, runs okay. Thanks. I want to add also there's no uh, uh, smoke or excessive blow by on the engine. Um, it seems like it uh, has pretty good compression. Um, it's original running gear, six volt ignition system. Uh, original brake system. Essentially, it's just like a 1949 car off the assembly line, just with repairs over the years and maintenance um, done to it. Uh, it's been reupholstered on the inside, as you'll see in a few seconds. The paint is about 25 years old. Uh, it's a solid pigment paint, not a base coat, clear coat. It has a few nicks, as you would, you know, no dents or rust. Um, the car, I believe, was probably from a southern midwest area where it didn't have salt on the roads and was probably babied before the person uh, put the paint job on. This was painted before my family got it. We've had it about 20 years. So uh, The bumpers have been re-chromed. Um, the handles and the uh, little trim pieces are chrome, but those are original. They haven't been re-chromed, so they do have some patina on them. Uh, the stainless trim looks pretty good. There's one piece, I believe, that has a small ding in it. Um, you can see the door panels here. Um, the original style with a gray, uh, sort of a three-tone gray color um, combination. And uh, chrome on the interior is original, hasn't been re-chromed. It's pretty good shape. And uh, the dash was repainted about 10 years ago by our family. The headliner and seats aren't torn or stained, really. Um, basically, we, we've just taken it out here and there and not really used it um, too much. It's just been kind of a fun little toy car to be uh, in your basically one-man parade around town. The gauges still work. The center of the steering wheel has just a tiny little, a little bit of age crazy, and it's plastic. So 1949 plastic, you know, it gets a little bit old like that. Um, but it still looks great. The radio does power on, but doesn't make sound. It's tube and the original for the car. Uh, it's interesting. The seats have been just basically reupholstered from the original frames, door panels, uh, rear seat frames. So, I mean, the car uh, isn't hot rotted, chopped, uh, messed with in any way. It's just somebody took care of it, and when things got worn out, they replaced it. Um, and didn't change the original style of the car and used original OEM parts on it. Uh, the glass is pretty good. The only problems with the glass are there's one vent window has a crack in it, and I believe one of the roll-up windows has a crack in it, um, but it's original glass for the car. Um, here's a picture of the motor. The should be green, but... This, it was painted blue some time ago. You can see the original air cleaner, uh, six volt generator, the original carburetor. Everything's basically standard from the factory in the car um, as it was. Nothing's been changed, modified, upgraded, that kind of thing. And six volt ignition system. It the motor does have a few little gaskets uh, that weep just a tiny bit. Transmission also has 
one of the seals that uh, maybe a few drops will come out during storage and uh, nothing real major. Um, not worth tearing into the car for us at least. Um, I guess car of this age with a few problems might be expected. If you'll notice uh, right below the carburetor there's kind of an orange strip there. That's where there's a crack on the intake manifold. Um, we do have another manifold that's in the trunk of the car that needs to be painted, sand, you know, sandblasted and painted and installed if you want to have it just right. Um, we figured if we ever restored the motor that's when we'd do that. Here's the original hub cap so I don't use those very often because in if one of those flew off, I probably wouldn't be able to find an original very easily, or at least not very cheaply. The trunk is done in the same gray material, and there's a vintage spare tire. You can see that right there. Um, here is the underside of the car. It's basically a standard car, not all rusted out, or uh, essentially just a used 1949 Oldsmobile, but not used out. Um, pretty good shape. The... Uh, knee action shocks are still there. A lot of people um, want to upgrade the front ends, but this car, because it's still all stock and original, no real reason to mess with it unless you're going to start doing other fabrications and modifications to it. Um, it's really hard to find a 49 Oldsmobile that hasn't been changed, modified, or hot-rodded. Here's some more uh, pictures of the underside. You can see the frame is just basically a nice, non-rusted-out frame. No real issues or anything. Um, there's the gas tank. Uh, no leaks. We make sure we put the lead additive in the gas. And uh, there's no uh, rusted out issues that we can see. Here is the uh, frame. On the other side, you can see perhaps some of the exhaust there. Um, it has single exhaust. It has a fake dual pipe on the back um, just for looks. Here is a stress, stress fracture from the where the hood mechanism, the hinges bolt on, it's a ton of stress put on that area of the hood. I believe that probably most of them do that there. It's, the metal's kind of thin on these hoods, and uh, so that's what happens. They get a little fracture there over the course of their life. Here's the replacement uh, intake manifold. Sandblasted and painted the correct green. It would be uh, basically uh, original equipment uh, switch out on that. All right, here we have the 1949 if you guys have any Oldsmobile Rocket 88, and it's running right now.